Hello, everyone. The opening ceremony will begin shortly, so I would like to ask everyone to take your seat and please keep your cell phone in a silence mode. Thank you. Good morning, and welcome to the Vietnam-USA Joint Mathematical Meeting 2019 in Quy Nhơn, Vietnam. We are so excited to welcome so many international mathematicians and scientists throughout the world to join us today. Situated on the central coast of Vietnam, Quy Nhơn is blessed with beautiful beach shoreline and grand boulevards. It is the capital of Binh Dinh province and was acknowledged as a city as early as the 1898. However, the town has been in existence since the 11th century in the time of the Kingdom of Champa. In the 15th century, it also served as the ruling center of Emperor Le Thanh Ton. Quy Nhơn was also relevant during the Vietnam War. Not only was it a site for intense battle, but it also was an important U.S. military and naval base. The genuine friendliness of the locals, the fresh seafoods, and the stunning historical attractions truly impressed anyone who has visited here. The Vietnam-USA Joint Mathematical Meeting 2019 was organized for the first time under the patronage of the Vietnamese Mathematical Society and the American Mathematical Society with the aim of creating opportunities for mathematicians from Vietnam, America, and other countries to exchange knowledge, share information on research results, or new directions in different subjects of mathematics. The goal of the meeting is to tighten the friendship between Vietnamese American mathematical societies. The event is a forum for scientists to discuss the possibility of closure, cooperation between the two mathematical backgrounds as well as improving the role of mathematics in society in general and the relationship between mathematics and industry in particular. It is hoped that this meeting will contribute to promoting and developing Vietnam's education, training, and mathematical research cooperation with the USA and other countries. It is estimated that 300 delegates from universities, research institutes, and businesses are attending this event including 126 scientists from abroad. Please welcome the following dignitaries attending the opening ceremony today. Please welcome Mr. Le Hai An, Deputy Minister of the Ministry of Education and Training. <laughs> Mr. Ho Quoc Dung, Chairman of the People's Committee of Binh Dinh Province. Mr. Nguyen Tam Chien, President of the Vietnam USA Society, former Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs. <laughs> Mr. Nguyen Ding Kong, Vice President of the Vietnam Academy of Science and Technology. <laughs> Representing the program committee, we have Professor Brian Bo, Secretary of the American Mathematical Society co-chair of Vietnam-US 2019 Program Committee, Professor Ngo Bao Cho, Scientific Director of the Vietnam Institute for Advanced Study in Mathematics, co-chair of the VNUS 2019 <laughs> Program Committee. From the Vietnamese Mathematical Society, Professor Ngo Viet Chung, President. I would like to introduce key members of the local organizing committee. Associate Professor Le Ming Ha, Managing Director of the Vietnam Institute for Advanced Study in Mathematics. <laughs> Associate Professor Do Ngoc Mi, Rector of Quy Nhơn University. <laughs> Professor Vu Ha Van, Scientific Director of the Institute of Big Data Vin Group. Mr. Chen Peng Son, Vice President of the International Center for Interdisciplinary Science and Education. <laughs> Mr.
Also attending the meeting are representatives from universities and research institutes from Vietnam, USA, and many other countries, national media and press units in Binh Dinh province. And now, I would like to welcome Professor Ngo Viet Chung, President of the Vietnamese Mathematical Society, Co-Chair of the VNUS 2019 Local Organizing Committee to the stage to give the opening remarks. Please welcome. Uh, on behalf of the Organizing Committee, I would like to welcome all of you at the International Conference Center. Uh, let me first uh, recall some memory of mine. So 50 years ago, I finished my high school. It, it was uh, in the middle of the Vietnam War, or in Vietnamese, we call it the war against the America. So my school was evacuated to the countryside in order to avoid the bombing, the hippie bombing in Hanoi. And every day, I saw the, the plane, the American plane, flying over us just to bomb Hanoi. And so uh, at that time, it's very hard to imagine that today we met the mathematician between the U.S. and Vietnam. We have a short meeting with so many people today. So you can see that uh, uh, we, have, so we have overcome the past, and we have worked together for a better future. So I do hope that this conference would contribute to the cooperation, not only to the cooperation between Vietnam and US in mathematics, but also to a better understanding between people from different race, from different religion, from di different culture. So thank you. Thank you, Professor Ngo Viet Chung. Next, please welcome Professor Brian Bow, Secretary of the American Mathematical Society, co-chair of VNUS 2019 Program Committee to the stage to give the opening remarks. Please welcome. Good morning. I'm a professor at the University of Georgia and also Associate Secretary of the American Mathematical Society. And I'm very pleased to see you all here and welcome to this joint meeting. Um, I wanted to say a few words about the American Mathematical Society and its goals. We're the largest mathematical society in the world with approximately 30,000 members from 127 countries. And two of our main missions for the 21st century are to advance research and create connections. And advancing research includes um, running meetings and uh, publishing journals and books and making research more accessible via the large mathematical reviews, database, and math signet. Creating connections also includes running conferences, providing travel grants to international meetings like the International Congress of Mathematicians, and the Mathematical Congress of the Americas, and supporting a visiting lecturer program. One of our main objectives, which falls under both of those goals, is running conferences, and um, especially international meetings like this one, joined between uh, mathematical societies of another country and the American Math Society in the host country. Um, this is the first joint meeting between the Vietnamese Math Society and the American Math Society and I hope it won't be the last. So far, the planning process for me has been a really wonderful experience. It's been great working with the many representatives from the VMS, the VIASM, the Program Committee, the Local Organizing Committee, and the beautiful International Center for Interdisciplinary Studies and Education. I really appreciate the many hours that all the people have spent planning this meeting for about two years. And um, especially all the volunteers who are taking time away from their family. And I want to say especially to the student volunteers who are here from Hanoi and from Huy Nhan and Ho Chi Minh City. Thank you very much for your help in this meeting. 
I should also thank the sponsors who are listed on the poster back here, the Vietnam Program for the Development of Mathematics, the VIN Group Big Data Institute, and the IC Center. I think we have a fantastic meeting in store for us. There will be six invited addresses, three from the USA and three from Vietnam. We have 13 parallel sessions on many different areas of mathematics, ranging from pure to applied. There's going to be a special program on math for industry at Huy Nhan University uh, later tomorrow afternoon, and a poster session for young mathematicians on Wednesday before the banquet. Uh, according to the printed program, there are approximately 325 registered participants for this meeting, so I think that's great. I also want to mention what a beautiful setting this is here at ICES and surrounded by the ocean and the river and the mountains in lovely Binh Dinh province on the coast of central Vietnam. It's really an idyllic setting for talking about mathematics. So in conclusion, I wish everyone a stimulating and productive conference. Uh, I hope maybe you'll meet some new collaborators and start new joint projects. And I hope this will be the beginning of a new mathematical synergy between our two nations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Brian Bow. Next, I would like to invite Mr. Le Hai An, Deputy Minister of the Ministry of Education and Training to the stage. Please welcome. Scientists and participants, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Vietnam Ministry of Ecology Training, I would like to express the warmest welcome to all of you, scientists from all around the world, attending 2019 Vietnam USA Joy My American Meeting at the Internet Center of the Interdisciplinary Science Education. One of the most beautiful science and education institutions of building province, and I believe, in the world. I'm very happy to know there are many well-known mathematicians from Vietnam and from all over the world attending this Vietnam US conference, scientific exchanges between Vietnam and other countries is flourishing. Not only between Vietnam and Eastern European countries, but also with other Western countries. During the war, we welcome many great mathematicians with very interesting lectures such as Alexander Rosendick, Lawrence Ross. Even during the difficult period of time, U.S. embargo against Vietnam, many American scientists, including mathematicians such as Judith Ladinsky, Edward Cooperman, Nin Kublitz had jointly created the committee for the scientific cooperation in Vietnam. With help from the committee, many prominent Vietnamese scientists have been invited to visit universities and research institutions in the U.S. to give lectures, notably the late Professor Phan Ding Zia, president and founder of the Vietnam Association for Information Processing, Professor Nguyen Ding Chi, former president of the Vietnam Mathematical Society. And today, our pleasure to witness our relationship 
with the scientific scene of the U.S. having flourished in born on many aspects over time. Ladies and gentlemen, Vietnam is a developing country, but we always prioritize the growth of nationwide mathematical education and research. Specifically, in 2010, our Ministry of Education and Training established the Vietnam Institute of Advanced Studies in Mathematics and launched the national program for the development of mathematics. Now, in this current era of digital revolution, the role of mathematics is more important than ever before. With that in mind, I'm very happy to know within this Vietnam-US conference, a forum devoted to the application of the mathematics in the industry will be held in order to emphasize the importance of mathematics to discuss the means of delivering the uses of mathematics in other disciplines. This meeting is a good forum for the scientists to share achievements in the mathematical research and applications, to discuss about mathematical cooperation, and especially to push up the role of mathematical scientists is the real life problem of Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, in secondary and high school, I studied in the class for the gifts in mathematics. And later, in my research in the domain of geophysics, tuned from the mathematics extensively ill. I personally, and most of you here, recognize the importance of and have interested in the teaching and learning of mathematics, not only for students majoring in mathematics, but also for students in other fields that utilize mathematics. I, however, have a concern that not many students are touched by mathematics and decide to devote her or his academic life to mathematics. This is an issue, not only in Vietnam, but also in other countries. And in my opinion, this issue does not originate from the lack of communication, nor from public misunderstanding. That we really need is a stronger commitment and support towards the student teaching and learning process. I hope that aside from scientific cooperation at the high grade level, the Marimagian societies of both Vietnam and U.S. start a channel of discussion and cooperation in exchanging the ideas to foster, apply, and industrial mathematics. And in this aspect, together with American mathematical society, the Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics, JAM, and the Mathematical Association of America would play an effective role in developing a long-term plan for mathematics education so that the younger generation will acquire sufficient exposure to mathematics and that mathematics will become a vital component of human culture, bringing creativity 
and innovation to develop intellectual strength of students, including those that do not possess mathematical talent. Yes, scientists. I fully acknowledge the scientific cooperation between Vietnam and the U.S. is further strengthened through all the intellectual sharing and excellent program to support students and researchers. I also believe this conference, a gathering of many top mathematical scientists across the wide spectrum of disciplines from many universities and research centers of both sides, as well as many other countries, will become an important platform that initiates a new development of the relationship between mathematician and the mathematic communities of Vietnam and USA. Once again, welcome all of you to the 2019 Vietnam US conference. I wish all the guests and scientists a great conference and I hope you won't have to visit some beautiful spot of Queen Yen City and Bingding province. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Le Hai An. And finally, please welcome Mr. Ho Guk Sung, Chairman of the People's Committee of Bindik Province to the stage. Please welcome. Kính thưa quý vị đại biểu, thưa các nhà khoa học, hôm nay thành phố biển Quy Nhơn xinh đẹp rất vinh dự được đón các vị khách đặc biệt đó là các nhà toán học nổi tiếng đến từ Mỹ và Việt Nam tham dự hội nghị toán học Việt Mỹ 2019 do Hội toán học Việt Nam phối hợp với Hội toán học Mỹ tổ chức tại Trung tâm Quốc tế khoa học và giáo dục liên ngành trước hết thay mặt lãnh đạo tỉnh tôi xin nhiệt liệt chào mừng và chân thành cảm ơn sự hiện diện của quý vị đại biểu, các giáo sư, các nhà khoa học trong và ngoài nước đã về dự hội nghị. Sự hiện diện của quý vị là niềm vinh dự lớn cho thành phố Quy Nhơn và tỉnh Bình Định của chúng tôi. Dear distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, today the coastal city of Quy Nhơn is honored to welcome special guests, famous leading mathematicians from the U.S. and Vietnam to attend the Vietnam-USA Joint Mathematical Meeting 2019, co-organized by the American Mathematical Society and the Vietnamese Mathematical Society at the International Center for Interdisciplinary Science and Education. First of all, on behalf of being the provincial leaders, I would like to warmly welcome all of you, and I would like to send my sincere thank to all the delegates professors, and scientists for your attendance at this important meeting. Your presence is a great honor for our province, Bing Ding. Kính thưa quý vị, tỉnh Bình Định là một mảnh đất giàu truyền thống văn hóa lịch sử. Nơi đây là từng là cố đô hương thịnh của Vương quốc Chăm Ba, là nơi phát tích của phong trào Tây Sơn, vấn kính với tên tuổi của người anh hùng kiệt xuất Quang Trung Nguyễn Huệ là cái nôi của nghệ thuật tuồng, dân ca và của môn võ cổ truyền Tây Sơn Bắc Hữu. Bình Định cũng là nơi sinh ra và nuôi dưỡng nhiều danh nhân văn hóa lớn của đất nước. Bình Định cũng là nơi có phong cảnh hiểu tình, được thiên nhiên ban tặng rất nhiều danh lam thắng cảnh tuyệt đẹp chạy suốt 134 km bờ biển của tỉnh như gần ráng tiên xa, phương mai núi bà, trung lương vĩnh hội rất phù hợp để phát triển du lịch 
nghỉ dưỡng, nghiên cứu khoa học, hội nghị hội thảo. Ladies and gentlemen, Bình Định has a great cultural and historical tradition. This was once the most flourishing ancient capital of the Kingdom of Champa and also the place where the Taesun movement originally rose up associated with the name of the preeminent hero Quang Trung Nguyễn Huệ. This was the cradle of certain Vietnamese classical musical arts together with the immortal martial art of the Taesun dynasty. Also, this was the place where many great cultural celebrities were born and bred. Bingding is a charming place, blessed with various beautiful landscapes running along a 134 kilometers coastline of the province, such as Gang Giang Tien Sa, Phuong Mai Nui Ba, Trung Lương Vinh Hội. It is very suitable for the development of tourism and of scientific activities with several resorts, research places, conferences, and seminars. Đặc biệt, Bình Định được biết đến là một mảnh đất hiếu học trọng nhân nghĩa, yêu mến khoa học và kính trọng trí thức. Trong những năm qua, bên cạnh việc phát triển kinh tế, tỉnh Bình Định rất quan tâm đến phát triển khoa học và bằng chứng là sự ra đời của Trung tâm Quốc tế Khoa học và Giáo dục Liên ngành, nơi quý vị đang tổ chức hội nghị hôm nay. Tại đây đã và đang diễn ra rất nhiều hội nghị khoa học quốc tế với sự tham gia của đông đảo các giáo sư, các nhà khoa học hàng đầu của thế giới. Trong những năm qua, Nền kinh tế tỉnh Bình Định liên tục tăng trưởng và phát triển. Tỉnh đang nỗ lực xây dựng, mở rộng, nâng cấp cơ sở hạ tầng, đào tạo nguồn nhân lực, xây dựng cơ chế chính sách thông thoáng, cải cách thủ tục hành chính nhằm tăng cường thu hút đầu tư, đẩy mạnh phát triển kinh tế, xứng đáng là một cực tăng trưởng phía Nam của vùng kinh tế trọng điểm các tỉnh miền Trung. Bình Định is also known as a studious land with respect to humanity, love for science and appreciation of knowledge. In recent years, besides economic development, Bing Ding also has a focus on scientific development, which is proven by the introduction of the Interdisciplinary International Center for Science and Education, where you are sitting today. A great number of international scientific conferences and meetings have been held here with the participation of many world's leading professors and scientists. In recent years, the province economy has been continuing to grow and develop with stable political security and guarantee social order. With the role of the southern growth pole of the central key econo economic region, the province is making efforts to build, expand, and upgrade infrastructure, train human resources, develop an open policy mechanism, and inform administrative procedures with the final purpose of enhancing investment attraction and promoting e economic development. Hội nghị Tổng học Việt Mỹ 2019 là cơ hội để các nhà khoa học của hai nước thảo luận về khả năng hợp tác chặt chẽ giữa hai nền toán học của Việt Nam và Mỹ, góp phần nâng cao vai trò toán học trong xã hội nói chung và mối quan hệ giữa toán học và các ngành công nghiệp nói riêng, tạo động lực thúc đẩy cho sự phát triển của nền toán học Việt Nam và Hoa Kỳ cũng như nền toán học của thế giới. Đồng thời, qua hội nghị này, góp phần củng cố làm sâu sắc hơn tình hiếu nghị hợp tác giữa Việt Nam và Hoa Kỳ. Tôi hy vọng hội nghị còn lại một nhịp cầu giúp quý vị hiểu thêm về những nét nét đặc trưng của văn hóa, lịch sử, thiên nhiên và con người của tỉnh Bình Định. Nhân đây cho phép tôi chân thành cảm ơn ban tổ chức đã chọn quy nhân Bình Định để tổ chức hội nghị toán học quan trọng này. Xin cảm ơn các nhà khoa học, các đại biểu đã không quản ngại đường xá xa xôi về với quy nhân Bình Định và chúng tôi mong rằng với sự nhiệt tình và thành tâm của chúng tôi, quý vị sẽ quay trở lại không chỉ để tham dự các cuộc gặp gỡ khoa học đỉnh cao mà còn chung tay hỗ trợ cho Bình Định phát triển về kinh tế khoa học và giáo dục trong tương lai. The Vietnam USA Joint Mathematical Meeting 2019 is an ideal opportunity for the scientists of the two countries to discuss the possibility of close cooperation in mathematics between Vietnam and the United States of America. The meeting contributes to improving the role of mathematics in society in general 
and the relationship between mathematics and industry in particular, creating a driving force for the development of mathematics in Vietnam, in the United States, and in the world. At the same time, this meeting also contributes to strengthening and deepening the friendship and cooperation between Vietnam and the United States. I hope that the meeting can serve as a bridge to help you understand more about Bing Ding's cultural, historical, natural, and human characteristics. On this occasion, please allow me to express my sincere gratitude to the organizing committee of the meeting for choosing Bing Ding for choosing Quy Nhơn Bình Định for this important and meaningful mathematical meeting. I also would like to send many thanks to the scientists and delegates who did not hesitate to have a long journey to Quy Nhơn Bình Định for this event. We hope that with our enthusiasm and sincerity, you will come back not only to attend top scientific meetings, but also to join hands to assist Bình Định in economic, scientific, and educational development. Xin kính chúc quý vị đại biểu, các nhà khoa học sức khỏe hạnh phúc và có nhiều ấn tượng tốt đẹp về thành phố biển Quy Nhơn, yên bình và mến khách của chúng tôi. Xin trân trọng cảm ơn. I wish all of you good health, happiness and beautiful memories of our peaceful and hospitable Quy Nhơn coastal city. Thank you very much. Thank you all for your kind attention. The opening ceremony has come to an end. And now we will proceed immediately to the first session. Please welcome to the stage Professor Ngo Viet Chung, President of the Vietnamese Mathematical Society, co-chair of the Joint Meeting Local Co Organizing Committee to introduce the program and the first keynote speaker. Please welcome Professor Ngo Viet Chung. It is a honor for me to introduce the first speaker today, Professor Le Tuan Hoa from the Math Institute of Hanoi. Uh, Professor Le Tuan Hoa graduated from the Belarusian uh, State University and opened his uh, returning home. He joined the Math Institute in Hanoi and, and then he went on to, uh, to get his PhD in, uh, at Halle University in Germany. And he, uh, he became uh, the first, the founding, maybe the founding managing editor of the of Vietnam Institute of Advanced Study in Math. And later on, he became the director of the Math Institute of Hanoi. And he's still now a member of the Math Institute of Hanoi. So please, for uh, Leighton Hoa. So thank you very much. Uh, uh, I would like to thank the organizer to uh, uh, select me as a uh, plenary speaker. Uh, eventually, I was just very surprised when I was selected, and uh, I did try my best to uh, explain you the few of my interests. I would mention that uh, between uh, American Math Society and uh, Vietnam Math Society, there is a MOU signed uh, around uh, 10 years ago, which encouraged uh, uh, Vietnamese, uh, mathematic, uh, Vietnamese mathematicians to join the AMS. And myself, I also the uh, foreign member of the AMS since uh, maybe 30 years. So the AMS is very uh, special and maybe the best organization of the uh, best mathematical society in the world encourage uh, many people for collaboration. So I'm quite happy here. Uh, and uh, in waiting for the, the fine, I would um, say, uh, men, uh, make an announcement that uh, next year, in uh, the last week of July, 
who in uh, Vietnam in the host the Asian Mathematical Conference. This is the first time Vietnam hosts this, and this will be held in Halong Bay. So the last week of July, uh, I hope that during this uh, conference we can show the, the, file, the file and the website so that you can start to, to think about coming back again to Vietnam. So the Asian Mathematical Conference is uh, hosted by team. It, it is a uh, Southeast Asian Mathematical uh, Society, which con uh, includes of the ten uh, of the ten member. But the conference is for the whole Asia. So, my talk is uh, about the complexity of uh, polynomial system, and uh, so because it is a, a talk uh, for the R broad. So broad uh, audience, I try to uh, read some, uh, in the first part, some elementary facts, and I apologize to the uh, expert for this uh, two elementary uh, part. So the talk is uh, about the, the <coughs> complexity so, uh, of a system of polynomials. So given a system of polynomials, we, uh, uh, we consider many, in, uh, some invariants, uh, uh, which uh, measure the com complexity of the system of polynomial, and I explain why we talk about the complexity. So here is uh, some uh, basic uh, invariant like a uh, dimension, depth, maximum generating degree, maximum degree of a uh, minimum Grubner basis, minimum free resolution, and the custom of Mumford regularity. So I will give a review on relationship between this invariant and some old and new bound. So. This talk also explains some relationship between commutative algebra and other brand of mathematics such as a combinatoric and uh, integer programming. Nowadays, uh, a lot of application of uh, commutative algebra to other fields like uh, biology or, and so on, but I'm not expert in this field, uh, in this area, so I cannot talk about that. So the content is uh, uh, in the group, uh, so the, in the uh, five parts. The first one is some basic uh, invariant and uh, the relationship. The second one is a bound on Castanova Mumford regularity. The third one is a bound on degree of minimum Grunner basis. The fourth one is stability of Castanova uh, Mumford regularity. And the last one is behavior of the best function. So I start with the first uh, section uh, about uh, some basic invariant and the uh, uh, relationship. In the whole talk, I consider the polynomial ring, and it, for the moment, I assume that the ring is generated by n plus one variable, and uh, the on have a degree one. Algebraic system, that means that we are given a set of polynomials. Then we are interested, it's a very uh, old one, we are interested in the set of the solution. And the set of the solution, this is the set of this system, and it is called uh, algebraic set. And the, question, uh, the elementary question is that, what is this set of solution? Is it non-empty? How big is it? How complicated is it? So, now we consider the set I, uh, we call the ideal, generated by this S polynomial. And the, the set is just a combination 
of the, the combination. It is different from the linear uh, combination in the sense that the coefficient is not only the element from a few, but the coefficient are element from the, uh, uh, of, uh, any polynomial. Then we want this idea generated by this, and we can extend this notion to uh, infinite set by uh, considering the set generated by some uh, by ideal generated by some set. Then it is a uh, very exercise, uh, easy exercise to show that these two set, two, uh, fame, uh, two set of polynomial have the same set of solution. Okay, but instead of fi in finite set, we have uh, now use infinite set. So maybe it's uh, strange come from finite to infinite. And what is our advantage here? So, but however, many property of this set is are encoded in the coordinate ring, the quotient ring, R mod I. And therefore, we are not only interested in studying the, the zero set, but also of the ideal or of the quotient ideal itself. For example, there could be a simpler with the consider I, we, there could be a simpler set G1, GT, so that I is generated by this subset, and then they have the same uh, solution. So instead of uh, from the set F1, Fs, we go to the ideal, and then from I, we go to other system of polynomial, which could be much simpler. And there is a famous, uh, there is a famous Hindus basic theorem, Oh, sorry, it's a 1890, uh, 1890, sorry, 1890. <laughs> sorry for the mistake. So it's more than 130 years ago. So 1890, he would say that any idea of R is finitely generated. This is one of the three Coscon uh, theorem which, leading, uh, which lead to the foundation of algebraic geometry. So, and I give, given any, any idea we denote by GI, and it is uh, the minimum, we, talk, we take a minimum basis, and we take the maximum one, and we take the minimum over on this maximum. So it be, it because uh, uh, if we take a minimum basis, then maybe this is not uh, invariant. It depends on the choice of the, the, the polynomial. So we take a minimum over on, and, because, and the question is how to bound this one in terms of the other invariant. Of I. Later on, we see that uh, there will be a simplified uh, situation where we don't need to, 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 to consider all kind of minimum basis. So, now, conversely, if we have a set, we have a subset of this, uh, and then we consider this idea. That means that the I is a consist of all polynomial which vanish in, uh, in all over the, on the point of this subset. Then this become uh, an ideal. I of Y become an ideal. And in general, generally, from Y, we can consider this ideal. And then from this ideal, we can consider again the zero set. And then we get the, 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 the new one, and usually this is con in the, included in this one. So, and that is called the closer of Y. It's a, that is respect to the, the so-called uh, Zadisky topology. And Hinbert Nustelenzat, so this is the correct one, Hinbert Nustelenzat says that if K is algebraic, algebraically closed field, for example, if K is uh, the field of complex um, number, then this, the, the idea of the, this set is a coincide with uh, the radicand of I, and the radicand of I is defined as the own polynomial sample which belong to this uh, idea. So we have this one, and as a corollary of this non that we can see that this system has no solution if and only if the one cannot be expressed as a linear composition like this one. So that means. So that means that uh, if and if the disease um, generator is just zero, it's a constant, okay? But remark, it is not a trivial question to decide whether I belong to this idea or not. But 
Fortunately, we can do that algorithmically and by hand via Grunner basis. And I will talk about the Grunner basis very soon now. So the question, so let x equal to this one, and k is algebraically closed. And assume that x is a non uh, empty, we may ask how many equations are enough to define x? That means uh, this number, how many equations are enough? And it is called the uh, arithmetic range. Even we start with a system of polynomial, we can immediately ask this uh, simply very simple question. For the one, we have this curve parametrically uh, uh, defined by this for four monomials. Then we have this idea. And it is a proof that this number, at least two, at most three, and if the characteristic is uh, positive, then it is a proof that the RR number is two. And the Hudson problem is still open. Assume that the characteristic is uh, zero. Decide whether it is a two or three. And it is still open. Still no, cannot decide which number, a, two or three. But I will not talk about this topic today. So again, assume that x is not empty. So what is the size of x? Which invariant can be used to measure the complexity of, the, of this x? So one of the complexity is the size, uh, is the dimension. And the dimension is, uh, this is a topological dimension. And we can imagine that by uh, uh, Poi uh, uh, dimension uh, is of dimension, the uh, collection of finite Poi is, is a dimension zero, and curve is a dimension one, and so on. So that is a, uh, I can, uh, we, I, we give uh, uh, algebraic definition uh, later on, uh, precise algebraic notation. And note that this topological dimension is coincide with uh, the so-called Kroon dimension uh, in, uh, defined in commutative algebra, and we define denotes it by this one. And another complexity is a degree. Degree is a notation which extends the notation of the, uh, the degree of polynomial. And it is uh, exactly the number of the point when we intersect uh, the algebraic set with, uh, with uh, a hyperplane with a dimension minus uh, the, uh, uh, equal to the core dimension of this one. And then we have a point if we take a generic hyper, uh, play, we have point. And if we count the number of points, this is the degree. Okay, but I, uh, again, I will give uh, 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 algebraic way to define this notion more precisely. So, now we consider the homo homogeneous algebraic system. Homogeneous means that we consider the po homogeneous polynomial. And uh, homogeneous polynomial of degree i that means a linear combination of monomial of the same degree i. And given uh, uh, homogeneous polynomial, then this system, of course, only have uh, a trivial solution zero. Okay? And this is a solution if only if a multiple of this is also a solution. And therefore, it is better to work with the projective space. That means uh, the collection of this point and two points are to, uh, they are this equivalent uh, relation. So now we are working with projective, uh, uh, and then we can, again, then we have this uh, projective set defined similarly, but now we have not uh, assigned uh, algebraic set, but uh, projective algebraic set. And in this case, if you denote by Ri is uh, the set of polynomial of the same degree I, then R is a standard greedy ring. That means I uh, decompose as an abelian group or as a vector few, a vector space, as a direct sum of this, and each one, they have this property. Okay, it is called a, a standard gradient ring. And homogeneous ionian is the ionian generated by homogeneous polynomial. In this case, you can see this, now it's easier. We just take one million minimum uh, basic. No, not uh, all kind of minimum basic, but that one, and we take uh, the maximum one, then we have this one. So uh, even in this uh, homogeneous uh, case, it's only some simplifi significant simplification. 
So again, we, uh, if we deny the de no budget, I why then it is uh, it form a homogeneous idea, and then we now if why a positive uh, algebra set like this one, then we have the dimension is uh, one less compared with the uh, coordinate string. So now I give uh, the way algebraic way to define the dimension and degree of algebra, positive algebraic set or gradient ring more precisely, and then with this notion we can work. Okay, it is easier to work with the uh, homogeneous idea. And that is no, not very uh, restriction because we can uh, use uh, no, no, the technique of the so-called homogenization. And many problems can be translated to this uh, situation. So from now on, all ideas are assumed to be homogeneous. That means, in this case, if we denote by this, then we have also the decomposition to the di direct decomposition to, to the uh, uh, vector space, and we have this property. And then this quotient is also decomposed into the uh, sum, direct sum of uh, uh, vector space. And, and this uh, finite uh, dimension, so on, we can define this function, numerical function. This is uh, the finite, only, only the finite. And we call uh, this a uh, Hilbert function of the ring. And what is uh, very interesting, so, so that is, uh, we have any idea. Uh, simply, uh, there, there is no law. But you see, the uh, Hilbert uh, theorem says that this function agree with a polynomial when t is big enough. And this polynomial can be right in this form. And d is uh, exactly the current dimension. Uh, the current dimension of the ring, that means the dy is equal to this. And the degree is the first coefficient. So now we have a way, algebraic uh, way, to define precisely the dimension, the degree of any homogeneous uh, or quotient ring of a uh, uh, modulo uh, homogeneous idea. So now I talk, uh, introduce the notion of the customable morphology. So a little bit more, we uh, a module, R module, is called a graded. If you decompose an uh, abelian group like this one, and we have this. For example, R is a uh, homogeneous idea, a uh, modern. Homogeneous, any homogeneous um, idea is also a credit modern and a question thing. So with this one, we can define a new, if uh, is a credit modern, we can define a new credit modern shifted by this one, just shift the, the, the degree. And then, for example, this is equal to this free modern where we have uh, just one generator, so that this degree equal to A. So the hilbert Suzuki theorem, so that is the correct one, says that if M is a finitely generated R module, then M admit uh, a minimum free resolution like this one. Oh, sorry, here we miss R, R of this, R of this. So this is a ring. And the, the, then it, uh, the, this, Free that means that the image of uh, this is equal to the kernel of the previous one. And minimum, that means that we take all this minimum. Then the kernel of this is called the, uh, the Shizuki module. And Bj, we take a, uh, maximum minus j, sorry, minus j here, here. If we take this, then it is a generating degree of all Shizuki module. So the philosophy is the uh, following. So we want to study a modern or idea. We look at the minimum free resolution. And if the simpler minimum free resolution look, the nicer is the, the modern. That's why we have this uh, cust uh, notation, that customable morphology quality is the maximum of the own kind of the, of the generating degree. So then, from this definition, we see immediately that the regularity of I is a regularity uh, quotient ring plus I, and the regularity is a give uh, upper bound for the generating degree, and uh, the regularity is the upper bound for on generating degree of uh, on CGG. And the problem is to give upper bound the uh, uh, morphology in the other uh, invariant. So, this notion, customable morphology, because of this, it gives a way to bound the generating degree 
using other tools like a local a like a local community at its place later. So the next one is the, uh, the global basis. So give uh, the, the global basis give a uh, way to do symbolic computation in algebra, in commutative algebra and uh, uh, algebraic geometry and elsewhere. So, so uh, denote M by the set of the monomial. And a term order on M is uh, just a total order. So that one is uh, the least monomial. And if this is a, uh, 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 so this, we have this property. So it's, it's uh, according to multiplication. Then for each polyno polynomial, we can form the so-called initial term, which is uh, the greatest term of the polynomial. And the initial idea is just the idea generated by all monomial, uh, leading monomial. And it is, of course, generated by monomial, by the definition. And such mono idea is called a monomial idea. So, group of basics of an idea with respect to some fixed uh, term order is a set of elements so that this, the, the initial term of this polynomial generated the initial idea. And by the Hinbert basic theorem, so Grunner basic only exists. Okay? And uh, it is defined for any idea, not only homogeneous. And of course, it depends on the choice of the term order. But if it is a fit, so we will meet this term order. Okay? So, for a fit term order, all monomial uh, Grunner basic have the same number of generators and the same number of uh, degree of generator. In particular, this gene I of Y can consider to be a computation and complexity of any algorithm to find a Gromner basis. And Gromner basis is a basic, finding Gromner basis is a basic algorithm in any uh, basic in, uh, in, in commutative algebra or algebraic geometry. And that's why it's important to, to bound this one. And the first algorithm to compute the Grunner basis is given by Buchberger in 1970. So Grunner basis, uh, basis is a basic, but not necessarily minimum one. However, it will have a much more advantage. For example, now we assume that a K algebraic cloud. Then non-homogeneous system has no solution if and only if a Grunner basis contains a constant. Then we decide whether I belong, one belongs to the idea or not that I mentioned before. Or for the homogeneous system, then this have only three variant solution if and only if each power of the um, variable appear in the, uh, basis, uh, in, the, in the initial term of a Grunner basis. So that's why the problem is important that give about on the number of, on the degree of a Grunner basis. So, uh, very interesting that Castano Mombon photography and uh, the Grunner basis are closely related. We say we have uh, the generality. This is uh, less than or equal to regularity. That is a very uh, common one. And for this, it's at most n plus one uh, multiplied by the, the, generate, uh, the gener uh, generating degree. And uh, regularity of the ring of the idea itself is at most uh, the regularity of the initial idea. So we can move from any homogeneous idea to monomial idea, which is much more, it's much more simple, it's simpler, much simpler. And especially if uh, we, there is a so-called special reward logical graphic order, and if we take the generic component, then the, 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 the regularity of I, it, even coincide with the regularity monomial idea. So we, by this technique, we can, uh, trans uh, we can uh, transfer problem from uh, an idea to, uh, to monomial idea. So now I go to the second part, is about on custom mum for regularity. This notion gives a co uh, approach to study the custom of mum for regularity. So, of this the notion uh, introduced by Grothendieck. So for any finite module, we can associate to, to the uh, uh, some module called the local cohology module. Okay, 
We denote it by this. So we don't need to know what is a token community. It's a some, only some property that this local community are uh, non-zero only for from at most from zero to the dimension. And then it is a graded module. And moreover, there is an Athen Athenian property that this graded part is zero for on the big enough. So we can consider the last place where it's not zero, we call the AI invariant. Then Mumford and Grudig and uh, first for Eisen and then Eisenberg go to uh, proof for any uh, module. They say that this customable Mumford is exactly this. So, with this theorem, we see that it opens a way to use a cohomological tool in the study of Casanova Mumford gravity and also of bounding generating degree. So now I gave a, a bound in terms of the generating degree. So 10 years ago, we can solve this problem completely. We have this bound. So the degree of I is a, a double exponential, there is a double exponential bow in terms of the dimension. Uh, and uh, this is a polynomial in terms of the, of the generator. So, uh, remark that if current uh, is zero, then a uh, weak formula uh, uh, bound was given by Bayer and Mumford. And uh, Dubay used uh, combinatorial uh, method to prove also uh, uh, a little bit weak, uh, weak, uh, uh, weak about uh, for any characteristic. But the paper by Dubay is uh, published in uh, same journal and uh, not so many uh, people in uh, community algebra know this uh, degree, uh, bound. So that our bow is in general better than uh, that of Bayer and Stinemann. And, um, uh, Kaviglia, uh, Spara proof use uh, the, the property of the so-called uh, very special class of the monomian ideas, the so-called modern fixed idea. And my proof is uh, poor uh, cohomological. And the bow is uh, this bow, even double exponential is a dimension, but it is nearly optimal. In the sense that in the worst case, any bow must be a double exponential function of the dimension. And this Example was uh, constructed first by Bayer Stidman. There is an example. And it is interesting that the construction by Bayer Stidman is based on uh, construction given by Meyer, Meyer and Meyer when they, they solved a problem for the old, old problem. So from different, uh, completely different uh, uh, topics. Another uh, construction was given by Co. Uh, and the specialty here is that in the bio man we have a generator in, uh, uh, in different degree, but in Co. we have a quadric force. In Go, we have only quadrant, so it is uh, more difficult. And this, sorry,
So however, you can see that if so in this region, maybe the bow is too big. The bow is too big. But if uh, for some important classes, then the bow could be small. For example, if we have a smooth, we assume that the, 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 the arbitrary set is a smooth one, then we, have, we can have a very good bound. You see, the, So we see that we have a linear bound in terms of the uh, of the defining degree. So, so for some important classes, uh, we have uh, uh, the the linear uh, bound, and that's why uh, now that's why people think that for under further uh, under further assumption, we may have a quite good bound. Namely, now we consider the so-called We consider the so-called the prime iodine. The K, the K is the prime iodine. But prime iodine is a very be, uh, important because the prime iodine defines the so-called variety in the algebraic geometry. And uh, it, it's, people think that in this case, for, for prime iodine, we should have a much better bound. Namely, so now we consider the prime, uh, prime iodine, almost prime iodine. And the most famous was the, the so-called Eisenberg Goto conjecture. It's no more conjecture now. Assume that P does uh, this uh, prime idea, and it, uh, it does not contain a linear form, then the reality is about it just by the degree minus co-dimension. Co-dimension, that means the dimension minus the dimension. Uh, the, the, the N, the, how could the embedding dimension minus N? Plus one. Uh, note that under this uh, assumption, the degree is bigger than this plus one, and therefore this is a positive uh, number. And this conjecture holds true in some important case. The most uh, important, famous is about due to Cruzon, Lazar, and Peskin for the curve. And then for us, uh, under the assumption that the positive, uh, uh, so the, the, pro, the, the, the space, the variety is smooth, and the, we want to have some particular, particular case. But the most one is the most important is the Cruzon Light of Fempeskin, uh, published uh, even one year before the Eisenberg Goto uh, paper. So, and many attempts was done to prove this conjecture, or to prove this uh, uh, particular. However, a few years ago, McLeod and Piva gave a counter example. We say that even under the assumption that the idea is a prime, they have the bow is still a double exponential of the function of the, degree, of the dimension. And, uh, uh, and uh, their uh, counter example based on uh, bias Tillman and co-example. And therefore, I would go to conjecture if they even they can for, for this, if phi for a, if phi for the dimension is nine, and even more, they phi they get in the yeah, example with in three dimensional process uh, uh, so this in P phi is only phi. So I would go to conjecture uh, is phi. So then the question, the question is now it is uh, it's phi. So the question is, what is about in the, in the case of prime idea? And uh, 10 years ago, I can establish this bound. So for the prime idea, then the reality is a double exponential of the, uh, in terms of the, the dimension and uh, uh, the polynomial function in terms of the degree. And because of the uh, McLeod and Piva uh, counter Japan, this bound is also almost optimal. No more, no more space to improve this one. Okay? So, because this then, uh, after Eisenberg Goto conjecture uh, has been disproved, the uh, most important and interesting problem is uh, does Eisenberg Goto conjecture hold for smooth variety? So, or one can ask to find some classes uh, where custom variety is bounded by small functions. And for that, I uh, 
So that is the question. And now I go to the bounding of the degree of minimum basis. So uh, we know that in the, in the algebra, in the, high, in the school, we have a division theorem of one polynomial on uh, another uh, poly polynomial. But now we have a system of polynomial. And then you can still divide uh, one polynomial by in, in this uh, system uh, of polynomial. We have some law, okay? So we call it, is this is just a gen, uh, quite similar to the one variable and, and one polynomial. And the algorithm is uh, here. You, you can see that the algorithm, this algorithm is uh, very similar to the algorithm in, uh, of the division theorem in uh, high school uh, algebra. And based on this, Bootsberger uh, described an algorithm. So this algorithm, you can see that is also poor combinatorial. You can uh, do by hand. Of course, now there are many software to compute this one, but you can do by hand. And this is uh, really combinatorial. And, uh, and how, to about, uh, how to about this one? So if you follow the algorithm, uh, Bootsberger algorithm, then you should uh, provide a uh, combinatorial proof. And this is exactly done, was done by Dubé. And my approach uh, was uh, not to follow the, the Bootsberger algorithm, but use a cohomological tool, and I can prove this one. So let K and uh, arbitrary few, then I give two bounds. One bound is uh, in terms of generator, and Another about in terms of the degree when uh, I is the prime. Uh, and why I can do that? I, in fact, the uh, Dube is a uh, combinatorial, but, but my proof is uh, cohomological, and I don't use uh, much property from the uh, ground basis. I want to use this uh, property that the uh, initial idea and, uh, and uh, the original idea have the same uh, Hilbert function. And in fact, I can prove this theorem for a, a, a larger class of ideas. For any two ideas which uh, have the same uh, Hilbert polynomial, Hilbert fun function, then I have the same bound. So the idea is to prove that uh, we use a local uh, convolution tool. So if we denote that, then we have uh, the so-called the Grossman regulated theorem. We can we can bound it in terms of the Hilbert polynomial. And then, because uh, the Hilbert polynomial, uh, the, the initial idea is this: they have uh, the same Hilbert function. Then they have uh, the same Hilbert polynomial. And that's why I can bound it by this for any idea j, not i, but j. And then, because they have uh, the same Hilbert polynomial, then I can bound this one. And then this number B, depending on the Hilbert polynomial, now can be bounded by uh, the so-called Hilbert coefficient. And from that, I follow. So I don't know much about uh, the Hilbert, uh, the, the initial idea about the Gronau basis. Just now, using a very basic structure, they have the same Hilbert function. The, this is Macaulay theorem. So, an uh, example of Bayer-Steinmann and Co. and Mark Lutz and Piva shows that the bow in, in, in that uh, theorem are almost optimal. And the question is uh, whether you can find a, a subclass where the generic degree of coronal basis are small. And I introduced a, a, a special class, the so called authority idea. So, we consider the set of points. Uh, non-negative integer point where uh, with the same uh, degree. Okay? And the toric idea is just a kernel of this. We have uh, this isomorphism and uh, we have uh, this. Then we can consider the kernel and we have uh, uh, an, uh, we, we get a prime idea of dimension D so we can compute the dimension. And uh, it is generated by binomial. This toric idea. So, some fans show that he can give uh, he can give uh, a, a bound for the ground basis, but it's still the big one. But if the set A, this set A, has a special property for the one, if this set A uh, equal to the on 
uh, integer point in this poly, poly, polyhedron, then the idea is called a normal toric idea. Then it is uh, easy to prove that the, the Grunel basic is uh, bounded by D, very small, the, D, uh, the dimension. And uh, Stompfen raised the question, does every normal toric idea possess a Grunel basic of degree at most D without changing coordinates? Because in the natural coordinates, they are generated by, uh, by poly, poly, uh, binomial. And uh, Stompfen asked whether there is a Grunel basic consisting of binomial of degree at most D. For the case, when on this point because, uh, belong to the set A, IA is called uh, simply, uh, a simplician toric idea. And to, uh, together with some colleagues from Germany, we proved that in this case, uh, they have uh, a Grunel basic of really small degree, quite small degree, this two, two one. And we think that, based on this one, we think that any simply, uh, simplician toric idea possess uh, Grunel basic of degree at most this Eisenberg Goto bound. Now I go to the, uh, the, the another topic, the stability of Casanova Mumford relativity. So we have a, 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 a sequence of ideas. And if I, we have this, satisfy this uh, property, we call the Neuterian uh, filtration. And for this, there is a, a very uh, nice uh, uh, reason given by Kurtkovsky, Herzog, and Professor Chung here, and Kuri Alam. It says that for M is big enough, then this regularity is a linear function of M. Another note solution is the integral closure of I, is a set of all the solu uh, solution of this integral relation. And, we, uh, the, and this is again uh, almost the idea, and you know, sit by sit. So from, from Kutkowski, Hesok, Chung, and Kuri Elam, we see that this function are linear function. So the question is, when do they become linear? We know that it becomes linear, but when it becomes linear? It's a very hard problem. So we can see, uh, for that, we uh, introduce this. This is the minimum, uh, the, 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 the last place where it starts to become linear, similarly. And the, that question is uh, equivalent to give a bow on this one. And it is uh, quite open, and we have only few reasons for zero dimensional idea. Very few, so very few reasons. And the goal of this part, we give a bow on this, uh, in this of stability of any monomial idea. So for quite a big class of idea and monomial uh, idea, we can solve this problem. For the other case, until now, they, they, they can solve for the zero dimensional case. So now, uh, for that, we need uh, the so-called geometry of monomial idea. For each monomial idea, we can associate with the integer point. So this is uh, integer point. So that this point is exactly, uh, this uh, monomial is exactly this integer point. For this, then, we know by, uh, for all monomial ideas, then we know this by the set of all this integer point. Then this integer point of the power is not easy to define, but of the integral closure is uh, easy. And why is it easy? Because we can use the so-called Newton position drone. Newton position drone is just a convex set up on this point, okay? Then you can see, so that is a Newton polyhedron. We just take on convex set, and then take on integer point in this, then we, we, can, we, we can decide, the, we can know the, 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 the uh, compute the integral angle of monomial idea. Now that for any uh, almost idea, idea, it is very hard to compute integral cloud. Then we can describe this Newton polyhedron by uh, via a system of uh, linear constraints. So using convex analogy. And now we need uh, the, the other notation that is, that is uh, uh, the, the so-called simplicity notion uh, very uh, common in algebraic topology. 
So we need uh, the notion of compl uh, simplicity and complex, and we can also say that each square free monomial. That means the idea generated by product of different variables to uh, 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 simplicity and complex, and vice versa. Uh, uh, for an idea, we can consider a uh, simplicity complex associated to that one. For example, this one we have. Uh, uh, we, we we have this. If we have this uh, idea, the uh, simplicity uh, complex, then we can form a uh, uh, square-free monomial idea. And if we have this, and then we can. This is exactly this simplicity complex. Then we can compute the local cohomology using the so-called uh, relief homology. We can compute the local cohomology via reduced homology. And then we can translate to compute the, the A environment to uh, this problem. If we could uh, define this step, then we can translate to this one. And then we can translate our problem in uncommuted algebra to a problem in integer programming. If we form by some technique, then we can consider this system of linear constraint. Then we can prove that this AI invariant is exactly the, uh, the maximum of this sum when X uh, runs over this. So we have, in fact, the integer programming problem. So we have this one. So that is, a, uh, we should have shown a finite family of integer programming to, 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 to solve the problem in, uh, in, in uh, bounding of the index of the stability. And now we need a technique to solve the problem in integer programming. So we look at this integer programming problem, maximize certain linear uh, functional with this constraint, and now on constraint should be in N. We, we look at, because we, have, we, are, we are working with the integer programming. And we say that a function is a quasi-linear function of period T, if there is a family, finite many linear function, so that this equal, equal to that, if M is uh, in the I equivalent class, and then over this, then it is uh, when now to specialist in integer programming that this function, the function, the maximum function, that is a quasi-linear function of M, but there is no explicit reference. But my problem here is a different. My problem is a explicit value where this, when this function becomes a quasi-linear function. And then I can solve this problem, okay? I, uh, using some uh, technique, in uh, integer programming, commutative algebra, and combinatoric, I can solve this problem in uh, li uh, integer linear programming. And what I get this. So, this one, under this one, with some notation, I can show that this maximum is a quasi linear function of M with respect, uh, with a slope uh, phi. And then I can bound this number. So, I can bow the uh, index of stability in terms of the generator of I. So it's all solve, solve the problem. And is, is this bow is still a very big one, but if you consider the AI invariant, then this, the bow should be very big. We show the uh, uh, Japan, we show that it should be big. You cannot ho have hope even for monomial ideas. But the similar problem for bounding uh, stability index of a monomial idea is still open. So the last one is the uh, behavior of the depth function. So I think that I have enough time to do that. So one can uh, define the depth, the, uh, basic, another basic invariant in commutative algebra in a very simple way. So regular element is just a non-zero divisor. And then regular sequence is just the sequence of uh, non-zero uh, divisor when we take uh, the quotient. And if we consider the, the case of the homogeneous uh, graded ring, then all maximum regular sequence have the same length, and we call this depth. So the, the, the formal definition is very easy. No, uh, no, 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 
no preparation uh, is needed. However, with this definition, it's very difficult to, to work. So that's why this is a more advanced, but one can compute, one can study that using local cohomology. And this formula was uh, given, was established by Grothendieck when he introduced the uh, local cohomology model. Then Broadman says, yes, okay, this depth can be, uh, should be constant for M uh, large enough. And we can, similarly, like in the Republic Casanova uh, case, we can dis uh, define this one. And similarly, we can define for the integral, integral clause. Now, the problem is given up above for the depth stability in this. And for the depth, for the integer program, one can use the technique in the, in the previous section, but now it's easier because that now we don't need to solve the problem of integer programming, but just the feasibility of the integer programming. And then we get this bound with my colleague, uh, another two, not the number. If we consider the special case when the add added, so for any graph, we can form an idea generated just by a uh, product of two variables. So that this uh, is a uh, form uh, 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 an ad in a graph. Then Chen uh, Nam Chung can prove, uh, uh, can establish a very small uh, bound. A very good one is uh, just at most the number of variables minus the number of kinetic components of a graph. And he's a proof, of course, uh, you uh, involve uh, uh, I use uh, uh, some uh, knowledge on uh, from graph theory, and also Professor Chen uh, Ngo Vich Chung, he uh, can uh, uh, use, uh, give another bow, but that uh, bow is uh, involved many uh, other invariants, so I will not record here. But very interesting, uh, for some graph theory monomial idea, and this number is very small, very nice reason is that uh, by given by Terai and uh, Ngo Vich Chung, if I square free monomial idea, then the following equivalent. This is equivalent. Uh, this is a commoglobin. That means the depth is maximum for some m, at most uh, at least three. Then the the original ring is commoglobin, and the stability stability index is one. So that means that they are commoglobin for all power. And I the complete intersection. That means any two of it has no common variable. So the proof given by Terai and Chung also deal with the feasibility of the family of problem in integer programming. Okay. So another one is uh, for arbitrary monomial idea, the situation is more complicated. So a numerical function is called a depth function. If there is a homogeneous idea in a polymer ring, so that this the value of this function coincides with the depth of this idea. The idea is fixed now. By Broadman theorem, any depth function should be convergent. That means this should be constant for t is big enough. One may ask, what is the pi of the depth function before it becoming a constant? And surprisingly, a group of Vietnamese, they can prove that let f t be any convergent non-negative numerical function. Then there is a numerical idea so that FT is become a depth function. So depth function can be any function which is eventually is convergent. So final comment. So in the last two sessions you can see that uh, there are many, in many cases, uh, techniques and reason from, from other brain of mathematics are very useful in solving problems in commutative algebra. And this view is a rich, of, uh, is a of rich topic and uh, intensive research in the last 50 years. And now even people talk about the combinatorial commutative algebra. It is a just commutative algebra and a combinatorial. And uh, you can see some most influential paper by Hofstra or Richard Stanley in uh, around uh, almost 50 years ago. And we have six books, very uh, famous is Stanley book, but also a book by Stumfian, Miller, Stumfian, uh, Villarian, Hesokibi. So we have uh, six books. And in Vietnam, we have uh, 10 
Stephen Hawking on uh, this combinatorial competitive answer, leading by Professor Ngubi Chung, and I am a member of this uh, group. And you can see that uh, there is a member, he's a co-chair of the section competitive algebra, he's a high retired from Tule University. He also has uh, many joint publications with uh, Vietnamese. So, thank you for your attention. So any question or remark, please? No. Okay. Can you say more about the simplicity ideas for which the, the bout on uh, for Castel woman for simply better? Simplicity ideas. Uh, you mean uh, the simplicity uh, the ideas generated by monomial ideas, I mean, square free. So for this case, uh, uh, the more famous name is uh, Stanley Reisner uh, idea, and for this square free monomial idea, the bow is at most uh, dimension, and it is uh, uh, and can, can prove uh, quite quickly using uh, uh, the so-called Hoxter formula computing the local cohomology. The Takama formula is a generalization of that one, but uh, the Hoxter formula was the original and uh, given in, uh, in 70. And uh, with this one, using a custom of photo, I can prove easily that it is uh, uh, at most degree uh, the dimension. Other question, please? So the time is over. So uh, let, let us thank the speaker again. announcement to make. Uh, first of all, we will have a short uh, photo session, so please uh, go to the front entrance on my right hand side. Now, please follow the volunteers, they will take you to the uh, photo session. And after the photo session is the coffee break. Coffee break will be in the dining room in the end of the hallway. And also, uh, if you haven't received the conference bag, please go to the check-in desk and they will give the, the, the conference back to you.
Não, é que eu só queria saber se você vai conseguir ver. Eu acordei sentindo sua falta. Eu queria que você soubesse que eu te adoro, Paulo. Preciso de você aqui. 